Now we can see a new world coming into view. God damn it! A world in which there is a very real prospect of a new world order. Shut up! New world order does not mean surrendering our national sovereignty. You ignorant son of a bitch. Or forfeiting our interests. You fucking troll! Fuck you! Go away! You ignorant cocksucking fag motherfucker! You understand that? You well, son of a bitch! bitch. He took an oath to defend the Constitution of the United States of America. Don't do it, motherfucker! Don't you dare do it! By some, he's been called controversial. I don't care how long your dick is! You can stick it up like, your ass while I care! He is the free American don't fuck over me. Clay Douglas. Now, I know my goddamn name! This anguish and this pain. For the podcast and more details, go to FreeAmerican.com. Hey, hey, shut the fuck up! Every time I think about the damage you in there, motherfucker! Hello, everyone. Shit, no, yeah, not on here. My bad, had it on mute, so apologize, everybody. Pulling, I just want to make it feel more like Clay's show, you know? I, we don't have enough dead air to mimic Clay, so I wanted to get let everybody reminisce, reminisce about Clay's show because his just ended. And Absolutely, and what have, we should do is maybe in honor of that, we could do a 15-minute uh, pause um, so we could go take a phone call and not tell people what we were doing. Just let it run dead air for 15 minutes. That would be good production. Definitely. <laughs> we're just on the fringe of production. We're on the fringe. We're going to the next level. So most people can't understand Clay's value. You know, it's so – like people may think it's bad, but it's like art. You, get, you just have to get the deeper level of understanding for what he's doing. But, yeah, it looks like we do have two callers on hold. We got somebody Perfect. from, let's take the one from the 240. 240, you're on the air. What's up, fellas? This is Don Cornelius. Don Cornelius Hey, Don, how's it going? What's up, guys? What, how y'all doing? Don, I haven't seen you since you died. This is great. It's crazy to be talking on the phone when you're dead. You know what I'm saying? I assume you came from Did you go to I was about to just ask that first. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I can't disclose that. Y'all y'all fellas, you crazy. Well we it's where you know, we know that Clay's opened our eyes so much that we realize most of what we were taught isn't even true anymore. So what happens when That's you true. die? Do you just go to the inner earth? Do you live with the humans well, and the I giants think that all down depends. in? I mean, yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's it's where where did Caitlyn Jenner come from? Was she just sent up from the inner earth? Because we don't know, you know. Bruce Jenner was that's, one that's, of the best a, athletes a, ever. That's a great question, Doc. I don't know, man. This is this shit is just crazy. It's blowing my mind. The, today just let me down, though. It was unbelievably bad. It's just a letdown, disappointment. I can't believe he only took two calls. I mean, what kind of shit is that? That's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So After Don, we had what over hundred dollars in donations. Yeah, Don. What did you expect as a listener for Clay Appreciation Day with all the buildup? What What were you expecting to see? Well, I, I I love the call from from Jeff in Greensboro. He's crazy. He's always crazy. He's funny, good, but very subtle with 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 the things he says. And of course, Doc Higgins is always great. But I was hoping for at least you know maybe a good solid hour of calls. And I mean, just two calls. I mean, that's crazy. I wanted to get on there and ask him about his Mexican Chihuahua, who I don't even think had papers. You know what I'm saying? It was an undocumented illegal alien, and he had him for 16 years. I wanted to give him credit for that because, I mean, that's some open-minded shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know if the dog is – I don't know if Bandit was connected to the Fast and Furious operations ran by the ATF. There was speculation that that may be the case. But, you know, we, our job, what, we, what Boob and I think is the best option, is to run the show like Alex Jones. 
we don't have enough resources to confirm everything we hear. So we want everybody to hear all the options of what could be true or not. We can't fact check everything. We just want everything out in the air. Word. And Word. I'd like I, to I see those saying, papers man. too. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. I, I, I mean, uh, a Mexican dog with, with, with a guy that's like an anti-Semite, well, I mean, I guess that doesn't matter, but he just hates everybody. I mean, he thinks everybody's a Jewish gay person in this whole world, and it's it's crazy. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I want to call the show and, and, and find out more about uh, about this dog, but I know he won't let me ask. He'll just hang up because he thinks I'm, I'm, a, I'm a gay man and, and a Jewish man when, in fact, I'm just a black man and, and it, that happens to be gay and Jewish. You're not with Black Lives Matter, Andrew, are you, are you, Don? Oh, no, 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 I'm not with that. Not with that. No, not at all. Okay, because that would be okay on this show. Yeah, I mean, I, a couple of my brothers are, you know what I'm saying? But I don't roll like that, you know what I mean? That's that, there's, a, there's too much hate in the world to roll with that group, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're sort of an anti-clay show. We take everyone here. That, that's, mm-hmm. that's beautiful. It, I mean, that's a beautiful safe. thing. That's the way it should be. And I know you're also probably surprised that we haven't called you a dumb, stupid motherfucker yet or hung up on you. Uh, it's going to take a little getting used to, I think, for Clay's fans to know this format's just a little different. Yeah, I, you know, I mean, that's that's kind of what I expected when I called in, but you guys are cool, you know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not, I haven't noticed any anti-Semitism or any, uh, uh, you know, hatred of the gays or the black man. So, I, you know, I, a great show you're putting on. I'm really excited to call in in future shows. It sounds like a wonderful endeavor, but let me just say this. I'm a little discombobulated because, you know, I'm not used to calling in on shows, so I might be a little, you know, sound a little off or something, but it's just because I'm discombobulated. Uh, well, it happens. I can't even say that word. Discombobulated. It's, it's just, it's crazy. Well, it's I'll like, tell you. Yeah, it's, it's just like where, you know, I get discombobulated. I get dis- discombobulated sometimes as well. With the, everything that Clay presents, I'm just getting, a, I'm drinking out of a fire hose with all the information he's throwing at us. On top of that, we're returning to him like battered housewives, where we get abuse after abuse, and he still won't love us, and we just love him. I hope one day he'll sh- he'll realize how much I love him. I mean, the man is That's like Ike Turner, you know what I'm saying? He used to beat the shit out of Tina all the time. It was crazy. Tina went back to him, and Tina left. Clay is like is like a white supremacist Ike Turner. He's just a crazy motherfucker. I don't know what to make of him. He's just crazy. Yeah, it's it's hard for me not to love him. I know. Well, oh, I mean, I love the man. He's a, he's a mad genius. He's, He's managed to suck us all in, and we absolutely we come back every single day, and we love it. I need he to ask you a question, Boob. Than that's that's crazy. I need to ask Boob a question. Did he ever did he ever uh, finish his story about the wonderful man, uh, Doctor Khan, that ran the whole house out of his father in laws? Because I I remember you call you, you called in and you asked him about that, and, and the brother didn't even really answer the question. He started to answer, and then he just started yelling a lot, and I was like. How the fuck are you not going to answer that question? That's the greatest question on the show. Dr. Khan, I mean, that motherfucker is crazy. I, I wanted to hear the mo- rest of the story. Well, the thing about Dr. Khan, it was later found out that he was one of the most wanted men out there. He didn't say where he was wanted, but he was wanted out there. And he did a citizen's arrest. And I think that's all we need to know. I mean, that Clay's a stone gangster, man. He don't give a fuck. He will put, I mean... Like he always says, he'll put a boot up your ass. He don't care. He don't give a shit about nothing. He'll, I mean, he will he will fuck you up. He don't care. He's 6'5", 240. I mean, I'm only, listen, I'm only 6'1", 180. But you know what I'm saying? I mean, he, he's just a big motherfucker. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I'd mess with Clay. He's crazy. Don, I want to let you know, I don't care what you look like. I don't care how big your dick is. Okay. Word? I mean, Sorry, I'm just, just saying, I mean, my, my woman today, it's funny that you mentioned dick, because my woman today said I had 20 miles of dick and no brain before she left for work. I was like, what the fuck is this woman talking about? I, I got a brain. I went to college. I even got a, a real degree from a real college, unlike Clayton. I mean, that motherfucker, what is the Timothy Bible College anyway? That shit is crazy. Well, I went not, he's about to get his doctorate by getting his master's. Yeah. 
Oh, is that, is that, listen, I'm just confused sometimes because Clayton's crazy. I mean, the shit he says sometimes just makes my head spin, and I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. It's hard. Dad, you're like, should I, should I, should I, should I get off the line, fellas, so you can take some other calls? Dad, we do great. have some other ones, Don. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we loved having you on, Don. Call back when you can. I, I can't wait to call and back, it, brothers. I love the show. Don, I'll tell you what, awesome. in, in, uh, before I let you go, you are an ignorant son of a bitch, and I love you for it. I appreciate that, brother. I look forward to talking to you in the future. You got it. See you, Peace. you dumb motherfucker. <laughs> Who would have thought that would be a compliment? So 317's <laughs> been on hold for about 11 minutes. Let's let this dumb motherfucker on. 317. 317. 972. Yeah, hey, this is Marcus. I'm a little discombobulated. But Marcus? I love, this, I love Yeah, I'm a little discombobulated, but I love being able to chat with real Clay fans, you know? Sounds great. What's on your mind today, Marcus? Well, I don't know. I was thinking of making a donation, but it seems like he's not doing anything for it. So. You mean you don't want to give well, your was... real name, your real number, and your email address on his PayPal? I don't think so. I'm kind of apprehensive because of my husband, but I kind of want to talk to him but because I'm such a real fan. But... That's good. Well, what did you expect for Clay Appreciation Day? I expected at least a thank you because I know that a lot of people appreciate and love the man. Yeah. And and how did you feel after the show ended today? Disappointed, like Doug Daniger, gay man, gay journalist, is saying in the chat right now. Disappointed. Maybe I'll have to go down to Dell's and have extra catfish on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget about the shrimp platter as well. All right. Take care, guys. Thanks so much, Marcus. Thank you, Marcus. You know, well, that's a yeah, good looks, point. Um, I, Dr. Higgins, Dr. Higgins, I think it's time for our first advertisement of the day. Don't forget to come down to Dell's Cafe. Dell's Cafe, the best chicken fried steak in Big Spring. Back to the show. Yeah, and Dell, uh, I love Dell's. I try to go down there once a week when I uh, fly into Big Spring for my research. But I yeah, it looks like Friday? we don't have any more callers. Yeah, of course, yeah, I got to get those catfish Fridays in. Yeah, absolutely. Since mm-hmm. we don't have any but, more yeah, calls, just, I, I was just going to suggest maybe uh, we could share a couple of our favorite uh, callers, or maybe like a, a, a few notable times that people called in. And kind of reminisce here while we're waiting for more calls. Yeah, no, that'd be perfect. Now you can start out, but you got some of the you know some of the most epic tro- the call or the the fans, you know the the most diehard fans of Clay's. Which one's your favorite? Absolutely, my favorite ones are where uh, people play the classic game of misdirection. For example. One gentleman said, Clay, I want to talk to you about the events in Charlottesville. But first thing, I'm six foot one, 250 pounds. I have a seven-inch penis. And it throws Clay off so bad because he didn't see it coming. But he should have. Yeah, it's where it, when Clay, you can get – he is pretty gullible, where he will start to believe about anything, near, damn near anything. So if you're able to no, wrap him in, and you can just get through Mm-hmm. Yeah, just the true fans can really you know, get him going. And we love to hear about this truth he tells us, but at the same time, we like to have fun occasionally. It's all in absolutely. good Absolutely. I was – yeah, absolutely. We've got requests in, uh, in the chat room, actually. Some people would like to know um, just a brief recap of what happened at the meet and greet. Since I wasn't there, I would wonder if we could maybe recreate it through the eyes of poor Jose. So, yeah, it's for Jose. I feel so bad for him. Honestly, instead of doing a fundraiser for Clay, we probably should have done a fundraiser for Jose and Casablanca. The men's bathroom with that man pile. Just the story after story is just so sad to hear. How, you know, the, just I gl- I'm glad that gay- Clay was so accepting of the gay Jewish mission and the Dreamers. We can't forget about the Dreamers. 
Oh, but Barry a doubt. did not have to. De- he did not have to destroy that bathroom and masturbate no. in front of Jose's grandmother. That was just too far. I mean, now in all fairness, he did say she was an ugly bitch. Well, that's that's true. Doesn't matter if she's ugly. Oh, okay. I well, wonder what I, people I think wrong, about man. that. Doesn't matter, right? Like, is it as big of a deal? I wonder what our fans, uh, what the fans think. Absolutely. And then I also hear with a, um, the, with the clay, I, I can't figure out if that was actually clay. There's been some rumors that it was an impersonator named Aaron Finkel, but I'll tell you what, I've seen the pictures. It looked like clay. Don't know if it sounded like clay, but it, it, he was there greeting his fans. Everybody called in the next day saying how much they appreciated meeting him and greeting him. So I, I don't know. I don't know. Is it real? It's it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell if it's real or not. I, I think it was because all the stories lined up. All everyone had the same story. So it's hard to it's hard to dismiss it. You know, if the stories varied, it'd be easier to say, Okay, that was just put on as a sham, but since all the stories were the same, I think a meet and greet actually did go down. There was a clay impersonator. So we might have to get Robert, the professional investigator, to start investigating who this clay impersonator was that showed up at the meet and greet. Yeah, no, and absolutely. I, we do have one call. We do have a call, so we can take a break from describing the older antics and take this caller. It might be Goldberg. I, Let's see. This is this uh, the lawyer Goldberg? You ignorant sons of bitches! It doesn't take a rocket scientist to find out who I am. This is perfect. I thought it might be you. Clay, how are you doing today? Thank you so much for calling our initial None of your wrap up show. Fucking business. You didn't uh, fucking donate fucking penny. I don't trust or believe in your goddamn GoFundMe page. You sons of bitches are just taking my money from me. So you think we, uh, you think money was stolen in your name is what you're saying? I know for a fact no money came to me except through my page, which was only thirty dollars a year. Wow, well, I, cool. I, those accusations, accusations are very strong. Well, we got you Send over one hundred twenty-five dollars, Clay. Send me the money. I have not seen any of that money. Now, when you do get that money, Clay. Now, when you now when you do get that money, I assume there'll be a formal apology, and maybe we can make some concessions on the show. For example, you uh, certain. <laughs> you can kiss my ass. That's what you can do here. McClain, your arrangement for getting on the show was you wanted people to donate twenty dollars to get ten minutes of airtime. A lot of people thought they were going to get ten minutes of airtime if they donated, and I myself only got about five minutes on the air. So I do need an extra five minutes sometime within this next week. Can you make that happen, Clay? We 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 will see if we can arrange that possibly tomorrow year. I appreciate it, Clay. We know you're a good guy. We love you. I am a good guy. Clay, can I take this time to ask you? I I was just going to say, can I ask you about some of your favorite callers, your most memorable ones? What are your feelings on uh, a professor from University of Texas at Austin, uh, uh, Dumbledore? You know, I haven't heard much from uh, Dumbledore in quite some time, but, uh, you know, I didn't mind him too much. Um, I kind of miss his calls. I miss him really? calling in, but um, absolutely I do. Um, uh, I always prefer him over fucking uh, Barry any day. And wh- one thing I've been fascinated to know, and I, I know this is kind of an open forum here, what are your feelings on the Russian spy Markov with his genetically modified meat program that may or may not be able to communicate? Well, I, I don't, I don't, uh, I haven't given that uh, so much of a thought. It's just the fact that uh, there's only uh, two people that I can't stand is fucking Earth, and it's Markov and uh, fucking Zakis. And they can both kiss my ass. 
It sounds like he already does. Well, you know, sometimes he can uh, be a little suck up, but uh, he he does love sucking on my ass a little. Absolutely. Is there anything else you'd like to talk about today, Clay? No, actually, uh, um, you know, I think uh, I'm about done for the day. I'm going to start um, chugging some vodka and uh, drink a few Budweiser's and uh, some Twisted Teas here soon here. I assume you'll be making your daily trip down to the Big Spring Police Department to report something? Oh, without a doubt, without a fucking doubt, I am going to turn in, as you know, I had uh, Barry calling in his fucking uh, gay dog, Daniker, whoever his fucking boyfriend is, and I know all of their fucking numbers because... I always have a pen and paper on me, and I write down these fucking numbers every goddamn time, and I turn them into the FBI. Is I there a case number that you can give police? us? Yeah, seven. Okay. Seven. That's it. Seven is the That's case the number? Case. That's the case number for you goddamn assholes. Um, also, we have a question from the gallery. They wanted to know what your thoughts are on Golden Corral and especially the Texas Roadhouse over in Midland. I love it. I love both of them. I heard they had uh, Vietnam era Veterans Day there. Uh, yeah, they absolutely did. I had a great time. The meal was on them. I chowed down. I had a great time. I, I, I ate so much I could barely walk after, and I had to uh, unbutton my pants. Well, Clay, I think a lot of your fans want to know what kind of tipper you are. Do you tip up to 15%? I know you're on a budget, so I was just wondering if you tipped at all when you got the free meal or if you just <laughs> assumed the waiter was going to make enough money not getting a tip. I don't tip a damn thing. Why would I tip for something I could do myself? I went... All you can eat Golden Crow Buffet. I go and get my own food. They don't bring me no damn food here. I go get my food. I sit down at the table and I eat. I don't tip them a damn thing. They I heard that they actually it. asked you to leave because you were putting your head in the chocolate fountain there. Is that true, Clay? Well, you know, sometimes uh, people talk, but uh, that doesn't make it true. However, yes, that is a uh, that's fact that uh, that did happen here. <laughs> this is this is fascinating. Well, Clay, it's nice to know the true insight. And Clay, I think well, we have a caller that may want to speak to that may want to speak to you. We have someone that's been perfect. waiting for a little bit. Would you be willing to speak to one of your fans? I, I tell you what, I. I, I I didn't want to take any calls, but I'll go ahead and take one call today. Just just one call. <laughs> just one call. Just one call. That's 626, okay. you're on the air with Clay and and Higgins and Boob. Good morning, gentlemen. 626. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Who the fuck are you and what the fuck do you want with me? My name is Eaton, Eaton Bieber. Oh, How are you doing, Eaton? Clay? You're so full of shit. First of, first of all, Clay, I would like to uh, say thank you for another shitty sh- shit show that you put on today. It was a uh, wonderful. Well, you know what? You know, you know what? Blame the friggin' Steve. It's Steve's friggin' fault. Okay, and then uh, I have a few questions, Clay. Uh, that since uh, you wouldn't take my call uh, this morning, uh, would you care to answer? If you you may. You know what? Uh, 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 one fucking question from fucking eating fucking beaver cunt. Okay, uh, Clay. Uh, fucking answer. Uh, again, I would. Uh, I believe all of us here in Trollland uh, give you know uh, give sympathies about Bandit. Uh, 
couple Thank things. You. Uh, are you are you are you going to stuff him? Maybe by a taxidermist and maybe put him on your mantle or uh, mantle hey, hey, your Honda. Uh, that uh, occurred to me here, but uh, candy is not for it. So what she says goes here. So I take it you'll probably have them cremated, and then you and Candy can have a, a snort them after after a couple bottles of vodka. That, that seems uh, more more correct than uh, getting him stuff. That's 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 correct, sir. Now, uh, Clay, how were you able to keep this uh, illegal uh, gay Mexican dog in the country for sixteen years? None of your freaking business. That's how. Well, I mean, I believe we all would love to know that. I mean, Clay, can you tell us if if Bandit was associated with the Fast and Furious operation done by the ATF? That's the rumor that's been going around. No. No. He was not used for drug smuggling and getting weapons over the border. That is the only thing I want to comment situation. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Excellent. Well, I know a lot of the times I can say things and it gets so twisted. And that's not going to happen anymore. Mm-hmm. And that's mainly only because you're a bunch of dumb sons of bitches. That's the clay we know and love right there. <laughs> you have anything else Excellent. for us? Any qu- mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I got some. Yeah, I mean, okay. Um, you know, uh, going off of, uh, I guess we go uh, clay appreciation day. Yeah, I, I, I think I mentioned this yesterday. Is I think uh, I think I appreciate you know Clay putting on the show because I've met people you know through the chat room that around the country that I don't think you'd ever ever get to know without this our small community so to say you know. And that's I, I a great point. I, I feel the same way. No, I I feel the same way. I I talk with people every day that I would never associate with as far as I don't know these people, but you know what? We're all a big community. We've fallen in love with the show and we're hooked. And gosh bless us all. Well, you know, I I do not consider you true anymore here. Just uh, diehard fans, and I know that uh, my popularity has grown a whole lot um, uh, that uh, fucking Jew Howard Stern is afraid of me now here. And he feels that I could beat him in ratings. And I, actually, I believe that yeah. to be true. I heard that Howard Stern won't even have you on the air now. He He doesn't want to have your thoughts and he views won't. on the air. He won't. Have you tried? Have you tried to be on? I, I've tried. I've tried many times. But that big nose of fucking to Howard Stern. Sorry, or fucking Barry. You know what? The, actually, a, a question Shit that's been on Stern. my mind for a long time. Clay, I know because of your uh, your contract and all the legalities of it, you can't really say too much. Can you share with us what you and Steve have planned with Sirius Radio for January? Well, that's uh, yes, that's a uh, very, very confidential. There, I can't give away too many details, but all I can say is that I hope you're excited for it because I am as well. Is it the morning brew? Is it the morning brew? Is it the morning brew? Tell us. The morning brew will be here January first, two thousand and eighteen. Yes. I knew it. And it's going to be the greatest fucking show you've ever heard in your life. Outstanding. What well, guests do you have you lined up already? Do you, do you have Caitlyn Jenner lined up as one of your first Kate, guests? I know that you've had Kate, differences. 
Caitlyn Jenner will be there January 1st, right at midnight. When That's going to be an ball epic. Drops. It sounds like Caitlyn you... Jenner's balls have dropped. You, I you just ima- I can picture it now. <laughs> Clay and Steve have their arms wrapped around Caitlyn. Both of you kissing one of her cheeks. It's going to be an, oh, an well, amazing that's, 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 first show. That's going to be one of the promotional pictures of us, uh, both of our arms around her, because it is a female. Yeah. And hopefully, well, you just can't be too. Hopefully, handy. I can give her don't the be too kiss on her cheek. Uh, just don't be too handsy. Don't par- pull Harvey Weinstein. Well, you know, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll see what happens with that. I know it's going to be hard for you not to grab on that Johnson, but you just got to uh, pace yourself a little bit. We all have uh, we all have uh, urges, but just watch out when you're in front of Caitlin. We understand. Yeah, I, I, I'm really craving that booty girl. Yeah. It's hard not to. I'll, I'll, I'll do my best. I, you know, I'm not going to risk uh, my job here at the show and the the morning brew coming next year. Uh, is going to be a, a great show here. And uh, Steve, Steve is not going to let me go get out of hand here. And I don't want to see you on the front page of the National Enquirer for fondling somebody. That's our worst nightmare in this fan club. Well, I, I, I see your point. However, I think uh, you know, uh, Caitlyn Jenner may be worth it. I would do some fucking nasty things to her. I don't know. You know, this is a P, it's supposed to be a PG show. I don't know how much in depth we can allow you to go and the things you want to do to well, this, Caitlyn this, Jenner and what things you want her to do to you. Well, maybe maybe I'll, uh, on the air in January, I'll go into detail on the morning crew. Well, that'll be perfect. We're looking forward to hearing more about the true play. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And Clay, some of the fans are asking, did you get a new pet cat? We're hearing a cat you in the know, background. I have a little uh, Siamese kitten here. I'm, I'm Who, glad. It sounds like a cute cat. Here. I hear some little kid calling my name. It's probably a trick-or-treater. <laughs> yeah. I better fucking not did you sh- What? Dear my God, you shoot any trick or treaters this year? You shoot no. any trick or treaters this year, Clay? No. Absolutely not. They, they nobody uh, had the fucking balls to come up here. I guess they saw my sign. Yeah, there's just too many pussies out there, Clay. Nobody really wants to meet you. You know, besides nobody Barry and Steve and the meet me. and greet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Besides the uh, event at Casablanca, nobody wants to meet you in person. Nobody wants to meet me. Nobody or people are to say that they want to meet me and shake my hand or I'll fucking break it. And then if I don't break it, I'm going to put my boot up their fucking ass. Uh, well, we, I can definitely tell this is the real clay. It's just so amazing having you on. You know, at first, some of the people in the chat were wondering if it was really you or not. But with the phrases you're using, with your little bit of slurred speech, I think everybody knows now for sure that this is the one and only Clay. Well, I have a uh, chug a little from my uh, vodka bottle here, and um, I'm really enjoying it. And I have uh, half of this bottle left to go, plus two others, and a lot of more to drink here. But um, I hope that. Um, Everyone enjoyed the show today, and uh, I'm very glad that uh, you fans are doing this show now, and it uh, it actually makes me feel special here. You got it, Clay. Thanks for coming on. Thank you very much for having me on, sir, and uh, I hope to be on again soon here. 
Without we appreciate a doubt, it, Clay. Thank, thank you for calling in from Have Big a Spring. Good, have a good day. Mm-hmm. Do we have anybody else who wants to Shall talk you? or no? I think uh, that I know we have one person on hold that's been on hold for a while. I think he doesn't want to speak, but let's see if this – I know you got to head out soon, Boob, but let's see if this other 317. 317, you're on the air. 317. Three one seven. Looks like nobody else is trying to speak right now. Three one seven did not speak up, so <clears throat> I think we're you know just we we can wrap up the show. All right. I hope everybody enjoyed Maybe it isn't. today. We uh, we certainly did our best. Yeah, I know. It's where this is really. You know, this is just a tr- we're still getting the trial runs down. This first week may be a little bit rough, like what happened today where I set up the wrong show time, so we have like two wrap-up shows. But after we get the kinks out, this will be an amazing broadcast, have regular guests on. You get a lot of the, the diehard Clay fans on as well. We hope that everybody tunes in regularly in the future. Absolutely. It can only go up from here. So um, thank you, everyone, for listening. Appreciate it. And give us suggestions on how to make the show better. And thanks for everybody for calling in and just listening to the show. And we are open to any suggestions. I would say bye for now. <laughs>